guys you're welcome my name is bukumi bike crown so we're gonna be checking out this video titled jesus will come back to blame christians by ahmed that so let's watch coming back to the comparative study and comparison between the holy prophet muhammad peace be upon him and jesus last time one aspect of comparison we deal with is i like to ask your opinion on that comparison and that is when we as a general or majority of muslims believe that jesus christ did not die on the cross and he is with god god raised him and he is sitting on the right hand side of god and he will come back to lead the muslims to a total victory my question is that if you are comparing the two prophets and you compare their status according to their responsibility and you give muhammad peace be upon him a higher responsibility and a higher status then why is it that he died just like you and i and buried him in the ground while jesus lives and is raised and is lived and comes back and he has a responsibility to lead the muslims who have gone astray who are the followers of prophet muhammad and lead them to a total victory which muhammad could not achieve in his time our brother before you go are you asking as a muslim or as a christian it does matter because then i can give you proofs according to your background your experience and mentality you see you are confusing you have confused the muslim idea with the christian idea where you said and sitting on the right hand of god i want to know where you got that from from the house of islam or from christianity from the islands of islam from from islands of islam no elder of the muslim tell you that jesus is sitting on the right hand of god unfortunately there are some people well that look okay all right you are very good on the right right number one we do not believe that christ died we believe that he was not crucified video tapes and books are available on the subject crucifixion or crucifixion whether it was a fiction f i c t i o n fiction f i c f i x i o n fiction means to fix up a person on the cross and kill him or was it f i c t i o n fiction means a fairy tale and according to the quranic teaching when allah says illa tibazum they only follow conjecture just what fiction we prove in this book from the christian bible the whole story is a fiction and if you can get any bishop if you can organize and any you can bishop or an archbishop to have this thing debated with me we are prepared to hire the nec at our expense and we will give you 10000 pounds in the bargain if you can get any anglican or roman catholic bishop or archbishop to debate the subject with us in nec birmingham which is the largest covered hall in europe we are prepared to organize the meeting at our expense and give you 10000 pounds in the bargain with regards to with regards to people waiting for jesus and make to come and make the masters of the world you see the christ the bible tells us that jesus is coming for a special purpose and that purpose is found in the gospel of saint matthew he says that on that day on that day the second coming many will say to me on that day lord lord did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name do many mighty works then jesus says then will i profess and with them i will tell them i never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity get away from me i don't even know you now that is his purpose people were misunderstood him they started worshiping him as lord as god instead of the father in heaven so he is coming to rectify them i am not waiting for jesus i don't need anything at all whatever allah wanted to give is given it to me here in the quran yeah. <laughs> 
can only teach the Muslims that you know Maghrib you make three rakats, make it four. He can't come to teach us you fasting for 30 days, you fast for 40. There's nothing he can teach us. The Muslim has, as Allah tells us in the Quran, a deen which is absolutely complete. As Allah says, Al Yawma Akmaltu Lakum Deenukum. This day I have perfected for your religion. Wa Atmamtu Alaikum Na'mati and have completed my favors unto you. Wa Raditu Lakum Islam Adina and I will that Islam should be your religion. Everything that Allah wanted to give has given it to us and we have it and I am not waiting for Jesus nor do I expect any Muslim to wait for Jesus or for anybody else to help him out in guiding him for the day of the Yeah, I love the fact that he said it that Muslims are not waiting for Jesus, yes. But in Bible is different, right? Is different and you also made mention of the crucifixion and um, but I actually reacted to a video in which a Muslim scholar admitted the fact that Jesus was crucified and resurrected I'll put the link so you guys can check it out so um, the guy the, the man was just asking that since we will believe that Jesus is at the right hand of God that is it so in Quran and I made that just explain that it's not so in Quran and I understand it there are some differences between you no know, there, there are a lot of differences between the Bible and Quran there are some things that you can find in the Bible you can find in the Quran there are some things you can find in the Quran you can find in the Bible and I'm, I'm happy that it was so straightforward like Allah has given everything to the Muslim so it's only Christians that are waiting for the second coming of Jesus because it is written in the Bible that Jesus will come soon so we are waiting for Jesus to come so I really love the fact that I mean that just went straight to the point that this is what Muslim, Muslim believe in this is what Islam believe in and it's really cool to you know understand I love how blunt he is he's so straightforward he's so blunt and he's so understandable like you can actually comprehend everything he just spoke about so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment I'll see you in the next one